What's going on everybody? My name is Jay. Welcome to the channel where I like to just try to fix things. So this is actually my personal PS3 Slim. Um, I was working out of town about a year ago and uh, they had a game shop there. Didn't have a PS3. They had this one. Um, I think I gave uh, like 40 bucks for it with a controller and uh, it gave me something to play while I was in the hotel. I, you know, I stayed there um, for about a week at a time for several months, so it gave me something that I could kind of travel back and forth with. Uh, unfortunately, during that time, uh, I don't know if this was an issue maybe with the previous owner or if I'd done it. I'm taking responsibility either way, um, but I had a lot of problems with the HDMI port along the way. Um, so it would work, but if you wiggled it, it would go out. So I finally got uh, got a part in to fix it. This is the first time that I have been inside of a PS3 of uh, of the slim model. I've been in the original one a time or two back in the day, uh, but I haven't I haven't taken apart a slim. So this should be a little interesting, but I think I can tackle it, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it won't be too bad replacing the HDMI port. So let's dive into it. Alright, so I didn't pay any attention before now, but uh, we're missing three of the feet covers. So, that sucks. Oh well. Assuming from the back, I know there's got to be some ribbon cable or something up there for the uh, the touch part of it. But how does this? There we go. And no, no ribbon cable. Well, it's a little dusty. All right, what is this? Chip. Remove, reball, reflow. So it looks like this was uh, like a refurbished PS3. So somebody's definitely been on here before. Uh, it looks like it was uh, at least done somewhat professionally. Zoom in here. It was 9-21-2015 whenever this thing was, uh, was fixed. Alright, something kind of gave way right there. I'm hoping it was just the thermal paste. Maybe a little plug or something. Yeah, it was just the thermal paste. Okay. Kind of figured that. This stuff. Uh still going to be replaced not honestly as bad as what I thought it might be I mean it's still wet it's not completely hardened up but definitely going to be replacing that so 
worry about that later. Let's uh, actually first let's go ahead and just get this cleaned up and then we'll jump over here to the HDMI port. All right, so before I get the fan turned on and everything, you can't hear what I'm talking about, uh, go over real quick on what the plan is here. So first, just gonna put some flux all around on here, get this, uh, get this all nice and covered. Then I'm gonna go back with some low melt solder and just kinda go over all of these joints right here. Then we're gonna be taking the hot air and heating this whole area up and we're gonna hopefully have this thing just drop out nice and perfect just like it always goes right yeah all right let's get to it All right, so it's still not going on all the way. I'm gonna try to add just a bit of flux to all this, even though it really doesn't need it just yet, but I'm gonna try to heat it up and see if we can get it pushed up in there. All right, it all popped into place. So let's get all this tinned up and Finished up to test. All right, so have the new port soldered in and uh, had a little bit of trouble with it. So I don't know if I burn a pad off or something uh, when I was removing it or maybe whenever I was putting it back on, but one of these pins down here has just a slight wobble and I cannot seem to get it to stick to the ring on the back side of the motherboard so I've done my best um, it's sticking for this moment so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is roughly put this thing back together and get it tested and see if that's gonna cause an issue wiggle it around um, you know I'd rather do it now with it halfway put back together than uh, me finishing the whole thing and then it tears up on me in two or three weeks whenever I'm playing it so uh, gonna go ahead and get uh, one final clean on this whole thing uh, with some alcohol and then get it back together and ready to test. I really hate to do this because I don't have a whole lot of this, but we're gonna hope that I have enough for both of these large chips. Uh, I feel like that's kind of pushing it, but we're going to hope for the best.
All right, so we have everything done. My battery's about to die, so hopefully we're gonna give this a quick test and we're gonna see some something on the screen and some good lights. All right, so my other battery died before I could actually test it. So we have the system all hooked up, everything uh, hooked up just fine. Got the TV right here. All right, we do have a red light, which is always good. So let's just hope that we get something on the screen. Green, HDMI, come on. Yes! Ah, we got it. Whoo! I was a little nervous about that pin. We have it. I think I have a controller out here. Let's see, does this thing work? But it's dead. But we do have it up there. Got it up there on the system or on the screen. Give it a little wiggle test. Nothing. All right, guys. Yes, I'm so I'm so happy. That was the first uh, HDMI port that I've ever done on the PS3. So. All right, guys, everything is running just like it should. HDMI, perfect. I'm going to play some Ratchet & Clank, test it out a little bit, make sure that everything is good for the long haul before I take it back to the game room and get it all set back up because it's kind of a pain in the ass to get it in and out with all the hookups. So, there you have it. I am stoked. My first HDMI repair. So guys, if you liked the video, be sure to let me know down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.